James Farantino was an American actor. He appeared in nearly 100 television, film, and stage roles, among them The Final Countdown, Jesus of Nazareth, and Dynasty. Career. Born in Brooklyn, New York, Farantino attended local schools followed later by studying drama and acting in Catholic school. In the 1950s, 60s, he went on to stage and a few TV roles. Among his many television appearances, he guest starred in 1964 with Ephraim Zimbalist, Jr., in the episode, Superstar, of the CBS drama series. The Reporter, with Harry Gardino in the starring role of journalist Danny Taylor of the fictitious New York Globe newspaper. Early in 1967, he appeared in Barry Sullivan's NBC Western series The Road West in the episode, Reap the Whirlwind. In 1969, he starred opposite Patty Duke in the film Me, Natalie. Farantino was one of the lawyers in NBC TV series The Bold Ones, which also starred Burl Ives and Joseph Campanella. He made two appearances in the 1970s anthology television series Night Gallery, once with then-wife Michelle Lee, and next with actress Joanna Pettit. In 1973, he appeared in the episode The Soft, Kind Brush of the romantic anthology series Love Story. During the 1970s, he appeared on NBC's Cool Million. In 1978, he was nominated for an Emmy Award for Outstanding Performance by a Supporting Actor in a Drama Special for his portrayal of St. Peter in the miniseries Jesus of Nazareth. In 1980, Farantino starred in The Final Countdown with Kirk Douglas and Martin Sheen, and then played Juan Perón opposite Faye Dunaway's Eva Perón in the 1981 television movie Evita Perón. Farantino appeared as Frank Cheney in the short-lived 1984 ABC series Blue Thunder, based on the 1983 film of the same name of starring Roy Scheider. In the late 1990s, he appeared as the estranged father of lead character Doug Ross on a personal life. Farantino was married to Elizabeth Ashley, Michelle Lee, one child, David. Deborah Farantino. Stella Farantino. Stella filed for divorce in 1998 due to irreconcilable differences, but later withdrew her petition. Then, James himself filed for divorce in January 2001, also due to irreconcilable differences. However, the couple remained married until James Farantino's death. Farantino was charged with stalking his former girlfriend, Tina Sinatra, in 1993. A restraining order was issued against him after he entered a plea of nolo contendere. Farantino was arrested in Vancouver, British Columbia, on July 23, 1991. After the Royal Canadian Mounted Police intercepted a package containing 3.2 grams of cocaine being sent to his hotel room, Farantino was in town filming the TV movie Miles from Nowhere. He was charged with cocaine possession and released on bail. In 2010, Farantino was booked on suspicion of misdemeanor battery after a citizen's arrest was made against the actor. Police were called to Farantino's Hollywood home. He was taken into custody and booked at the Los Angeles Police Department's Hollywood area station. Farantino was released two days later after posting $20,000 bond. Police said the actor was trying to physically remove a man from his house. The man, who police said suffered visible bruising, made a citizen's arrest on Farantino for battery. Selected filmography. Violent Midnight. Ensign Pulver. The War Warlord. The Pad and How to Use It. The Ride to Hangman's Tree. Banning. Rosie. Me. Natalie. Story of the Woman. The Longest Night. The Elevator. Jesus of Nazareth. The Possessed. The Final Countdown. Evita Perron. Dead and Buried. License to Kill. Her Alibi. Bulletproof. The Last Producer. Death. On January 24, 2012, Farantino died of heart failure at Cedars Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles, California following a long illness. He was 73 years old.